In this video, we're going to look at taking attendance in the staff view. This would be an example of how a teacher would take attendance, specifically in an AM, PM school, but it's very similar for a secondary school that has period one, period two, period three, etc. So I've logged in. This has taken to me to the pages top tab, and this will show me classes meeting on this day. So if you're an AM, PM school, elementary school, it's just going to say an ATT-AM and then ATT-PM. If I want to take attendance for the AM, I would click on this button right here that will get me to the list. You also have an option of creating a, um, a seating chart here too, but th for this example I'm going to go show this one. Um, this is quite good, but I don't have it set up, so I'll not be able to show it in this video. So if I click on this, this will take me to the attendance for this current date, which is set in uh, the last school year because I'm in the training environment. This, again, this is a de-identified database. None of these kids are real, so that's why I can show it to you. And what I see here is my attendance for the AM class that I can take and then I have to post it when I'm done. So the teacher's responsibility in our school district is to take attendance in the morning and in the afternoon. And all they need to do is come in here, mark the students that are absent, students absent, this one was late, this one was absent, and hit the post button. And that is the end of what they need to do for attendance for the AM. They would need to log in in the PM and do the same thing. I'm going to hit post, and post is what the school will be able to see that the attendance has been done. If you were to do this and then navigate away or log out without hitting the post button, you have not done your attendance. So make sure you click your absences or your lates and hit post. If you have made a mistake and you realized, whoops, I, this student's actually present, you can change it to present, hit post. and that will change the class absence to present. However, the daily attendance will remain absent and that is something you'll have to report to the office to make that change. Uh, teachers take class attendance and the office has the ability to do daily attendance uh, as well as class attendance. And there are some differences and those have been explained to the secretaries. Uh, what teachers need to do is log in in the AM, take attendance, post it, uh, log in again in the PM, use their PM uh, attendance block, take attendance and post it as well. If they've ever made a mistake, they might have to let the office know to uh, fix the daily record. They are, there's a relationship between them, but what the teachers need to know is take your attendance, post it. If you've made a mistake, you might have to let your secretary know to make a fix on the daily record. The secretaries are able to enter a record in the daily attendance, uh, which in this case they had, and they're able to actually push that back to your class attendance. In this case, they hadn't uh, done the push, but if they had pushed an absent excused over here, you would see that your absent would be grayed out because they're already marked absent. Um, so there's a relationship between the daily and the class attendance that the secretaries have access to uh, to be able to update your class attendance from the daily attendance. If I were to go to my PM attendance now, we can see that nothing has been filled in because nothing from your AM uh, attendance class fills in your, your PM attendance class. You still need to come in here and mark students absent uh, or late if they're coming in late in the afternoon. You do see some information in the daily columns, um, but you do need to again come in here and do your attendance and hit the post button when you're done. And that's pretty much it for attendance for teachers.